Okay, I am uh, Maksud Jawan Muhammad from Sussex University of Engineering and Technology. This is our research paper number 71, that is submission number 71. The project is research project multi phase flow control with unmanned system and color image processing that is for the RTCSC conference 2018 Bangkok, Thailand. This was, I am a PhD scholar in Social University of Engineering and Technology. And this multi-phase flow control for the oil and gas industry, because in oil and gas industry, we have oil, gas and water. When the oil is excavated, transmitted, or uh, at the separation stage, or the refining process stage, it has oil, gas, water, so we have to calculate how much oil, gas, water is present and how much speed oil and gas and water multiphase fluid is flowing. So, next please. The requirement of multiphase flow meeting in process industry. Right now, electronic mechanical instruments are used uh, whose maintenance cost is too high and they create indentures and having falling problems. Because mechanical instruments are very costly, not very efficient, and electronic instruments with the help of a band system in main processing we develop with the local environment. And local solution with a banded system of microchip microcontroller 18F4520 and advanced techniques of image processing we use so very efficient, cost effective, electronic accurate instrument to calculate the content of oil, gas, water. Next please. Now Target customers, and this technology we can use 5 million market size because you know the research project should not only be for the academic purpose but it has to be commercialized and used in the industry. And right now we surveyed and we found that we have 5 million market size in petroleum industry, process industry, and backup with the scholar. In petroleum industry, we can install projects of 2.5 million dollars and in pharmaceutical industry because in pharmaceutical industry we have to check the contamination and impurity in the oil and syrup and tablet so about 1 million dollar worth of projects with this technology installed and the refinery is 1 million dollar in food industry 0.5 million dollar projects we have to install. In hydrocarbon industry, process industry, and food industry, and pharmaceutical industry, many variants of these projects are to be implemented. Next please. The whole plan we install is uh, at the pipe, at two places we put the sensor and we capture the data. This is biomass tomographic sensor. Instead of this we can use electrical capacitance tomographic sensor as well as high resolution cameras of 20 megapixels and 100 megapixels we can put. And we get the images through these sensors and pixel to pixel correlation we can find out velocity profile as well as content profile and volume profile of the oil, gas and water. Electrical mesh tomography with ambient system and image processing technique we use. Process images are obtained using tomography at two different points. We use wire mesh tomography. In wire mesh tomography, we use wire meshes on the flange. At one point, we can put the signal from other point, we can extract the data. So exact image of the data we obtain. And after getting the image, deep learning of images is done using image processing technique. Deep learning with the iteration algorithm iteration algorithm that we run for 5 iterations, 10 iterations, 20 iterations, 100 iterations and 200 iterations. And we found that 5 to 10 iterations are enough to get more than 90% correlation. So and I, deep learning we did for the, for the, to make image more accurate. And for two places we put the Sensor to find out calculation of the velocity profile using cross cross correlation, cross correlation among the two images. Calculation of the content profile using percentages of pixels of different pages. We can find out how much 
percentage of oil, gas, and water is present. This is the development of optimal continuous flow energy because in oil and gas industry, optimal control strategy that how much oil, gas, water present during exploration, transmission, refining, or at the separate stage. Because decision have to make how much oil, gas, water is coming out of the wells. Development of optimal control stages and this technology is very cheap because digital technology is very cheap and very efficient and cost effective because once the data is digital, it can we can use image processing technique, artificial intelligence technique, data science technique, so it's very efficient and cost effective. Next please. I mean this wire mesh tomographic sensors, this is a simplified electrical scheme of the wire mesh tomography. This is we put wire mesh on the flange and from one side microcontroller provides the signal, from the other side microcontroller can get the signal. Analog and then analog to digital converter, conversion microcontroller is doing and then get the digital image of the fluid. Next please. This is a prototype. This is a flange. We can put on the pipe and it can capture the image, providing image data to the microcontroller and magic system. This is microchip, microcontroller and magic system. This is communication circuit converting RS232 signal to USB signal. And this is debugger programmer to debug and programming of the microcontroller. Debugger programmer is used so very efficiently debugging of the program can be done and a high tech C language image can be captured from the flange. This is a prototype. Next please. This is a flange. We put the wire mesh inside the flange from one side. We provide the signal from the other side. We get the signals and provide it to microcontroller. Next please. This is a battery system of the microcontroller, 18F452 microchip microcontroller, and this is a whole battery system providing signals and obtaining the output image from the flange. We use microchip microcontroller because they are very efficient and very professional debugging and programming of the microcontroller can be done. Next. This is communication circuit. Because the microcontroller provides the RS232 signal and this communication circuit converts the RS232 signal from the airband system and to the USB compatible signal to the computer. Next please. This is a debugger programmer of microchip. Once it is connected very easily, debugging of the program can be done and programming and debugging with the help of this PIC. Picket, this is called Picket Debugger Program. Next please. This is a whole prototype of the system, flange that we put on the pipe and microcontroller providing signal, getting the image, debugger programmer, communication circuit. Finally the data comes to computer where uh, computer will do the image processing of the image. So deep learning of the image can be done and the cross correlation among the images is done. Okay, next please. This is the geometry of the wire mesh tomographic sensor. So from one horizontal side signal can be provided, from the vertical side signals can be obtained and data can be captured. Image can be captured of the fluid. Next please. Now this is a image of the fluid, original image. We did the deep learning. This is 400 by 363 megapixels uh, made and deep, for the deep learning we use iteration algorithm after 5 iterations we found 96.94 correlation and after 10 iterations we found 96.74% correlation. I mean we also did up to 20 iterations, 100 iterations and 200 iterations. And we found that after 5 to 10 iterations, more than 90% correlation was found. So 5 to 10 iterations were enough. Next please. And we used different segments of the image. 
so, so segmentation of the image can increase the accuracy of the image, cross correlation, and also deblurring of the image. So after five to ten iterations, we found that image will be much more accurate and cross correlation can be found. Next week. The another segment of the image, so after five to ten iterations, more than 96 percent cross correlation was found. Next please. Another segment. Next please. Then for the verification and validation of data, we use other old techniques also, that is image color indexing. In image color indexing, three colors can be, that is, because we have three phases, oil, gas and water, so exactly three colors can show that how much oil, gas and water is used. So this is another image color indexing technique we use for the verification and validation of the data. Next please. And this is image averaging. We use another averaging technique, this is original image. We did the averaging of the image to increase the accuracy of the data. Next please. This is contrast enhancement. Another image processing technique, contrast enhancement to exactly put more contrast on different colors. Next screen. Next screen. Now, this uh, research project should not only be for the academic purpose, but it has to be commercialized. So we did the survey and we found that uh, year one, I mean, Total revenue we can generate up to five million dollars, and the next second year we can generate ten million dollars. In year three we can generate revenue of twelve million dollars, and the gross profit will be two million dollars in the first year, four million dollars in the second year, and six million dollars in the third year. And after taxation and so many expenses, net income will be one million dollar first year, second year two million dollars, and third year three million dollars. And initially we need the investment of $2 million to put our projects in oil and gas industry, pharmaceutical industry, food industry, and all process industry. And more application and more different types of sensors can be used, like wire mesh tomographic sensor, electrical capacitance tomographic sensor, and cameras of 20 megapixels, and more high resolution cameras of 100 megapixels, for the industrial purposes are available. Next please. Now the proposed outcome is to obtain optimal control and reliable operation of an oil flow. Selection of the most suitable control strategy is what? Because once the technology will be digitized from mechanical instrument into digital instrument, capturing data through sensors and microcontroller will get the data and computer will do the image processing, so after deep learning, much more accurate data, then cross correlation, we can find the velocity of the fluid. And oil flow is a complex process because of the number of different possible distributions of air, oil, form, immersion, water inside the pipe. A comprehensive research has been done for this task, image reconstruction and deep learning for the control strategy of the following can be framed. In using electrical mesh thermography, the first challenge is to get the image through sensor. We can, instead of wide mesh thermography, we can use electrical capacitance thermography, and we can use the high resolution cameras of 20 megapixels and 100 megapixel cameras are also available in the industry. So much more high resolution camera we use. It is planned to use two sensors and five periphery to get process immediately. Different image processing techniques would be required to get best quality image showing process situation. We need the deep learning of image has been done. Deep learning technique we use with the help of uh, iteration algorithm. So iteration algorithm do the deep learning of the images. So much more accurate image is obtained. Then cross correlation techniques between the image pixel to pixel cross correlation technique calculation of velocity profile using cross correlation technique. And we also find out the content profile. And this project is not only for the academic purpose, but also commercialization of the project. It can be done, put many projects in the uh, oil and gas industry, pharmaceutical industry, 
and food industry and oil process industry where optimal control of the fluid is used and in pharmaceutical industry especially very very accurate data so contamination and impurities in the oil in the syrup can be found out so this project is very important for the industrial control industrial automation and uh, this project we tested with the prototype it was very successful and this is our uh, paper number 71 submission in uh, recent trends in computer science and electronics conference in Bangkok, Thailand and I will be uh, very happy to answer all your questions. My email address is maksoodm at the rate of hotmail.com that is m-a-q-s-o-o-d-m at the rate of hotmail.com you can ask any question on my email address and I will be very happy to answer and this technology is very successful around the world and if you want to ask any question I will be presenting this project on 3rd of January in the Radisson Blue, Bangkok, Thailand and I will be very happy to answer all questions from my colleagues of different scientists and engineers from around the world and you can also ask questions on my email address thank you very much